Okay, uh, we're back again, and I'm going to show you how I packed this uh, 2400 Wind Rider and what it looks like when it is packed. Uh, a couple things that I forgot for electronics is this Gorilla. You see how small it is, this Gorilla tripod. I'll probably use that more than the uh, stick pick. So I'm going to take that and the attachment for my phone I'm using right now on a bigger tripod. And something else that I've been debating about taking is this wide mouth Nalgene and I have a Go Girl. I thought, you know, being able to have the option of going to a late night bathroom, run in the tent, and using these items would uh, save me from get, freezing my butt off in the middle of the night, but... I don't know. I think it's redone. I think it's just added weight I really don't need. Okay, so in the pack, you're looking at a hydration sleeve right here. And I plan on keeping it in my guide and uh, some flat stuff in there, whatever I can get. Okay. So then I'm going to fold up my Neo Air and put that in behind the trash compactor bag. And you can see kind of in there that I already have the the reactor liner in there. So this is just one way that I've been experimenting with loading this bag. So uh, then I just stuff in my quilt and a uh, bandage of packing your bag like this as it fills up every nook and cranny shove that down in there like that okay and next is my thermals try and keep it open so you can see throw the thermals in there and then the ghost whisper get uh, pressed as much as I can all the gaps then in my hat extra socks underwear the rest of the night clothes I may use for night time oh, shove that down in there okay and <coughs> Now this is including the extra stuff I wasn't sure about taking my electronics pillow and pump. Put those down in there to fill out some spots. Want to fill it out? Don't level this out. Oh, throw the massage ball in there too. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I think that is everything that I would keep in that bag. So, try and smoosh it one more time. Give it a twist and tuck it. Alright, and then on top of that, I need to fit my shoulder and my food bag. And this is only like three days worth of food, so you can see where my dilemma is right now. And I don't think that I had, you know, a whole lot of extra gear. But maybe I did. <laughs> but I know I ain't fitting it in this bag. I got one turn. Okay. You know, one turn is that's probably enough. And I'm thinking I got maybe not even three days worth of food. I don't have I got breakfast and dinner and I don't have anything in that bag for lunch. Okay, so 
That would be the inside of the bag. And if I took this thing or part of this pad, you know, if I got a so um, one of the pads from Gossamer Gear, uh, it would probably I gotta switch this buckle on. This is backwards, but um. I could probably fit it inside or keep it like that on top. So then that would leave me, I would put my ever new in one of my platypus bags in this side pocket. I don't know if you're going to see this very well or not. I'll try and back up a little bit. Okay. Sorry for jumping around. Okay, and then the platypus, the tornado tube, and the cutoff Sawyer bag. And go in the other side pocket. Alright. my rain gear out here because I I don't have room inside my toilet tree bag side get yeah, micro spikes somewhere in there tent stakes yeah and you see I'm pretty full there all right knife Ibuprofen, chapstick, stick pick. In there. I don't think that's going to fit in there, so. And then I have the straps to make that into like a purse or a fanny pack. But my phone and the tripod oh, oh this stuff I'm not gonna throw this stuff on the pack but this is the stuff that's gonna be hanging off of the pack somewhere so this is pretty close pretty close to what I'm looking at as far as what I'm taking and We'll see, you know, if I uh, get this upgrade a little better. You know, I'm really thinking about getting a different uh, closed cell phone pad to use with the Neo Air to save a little room too. So, that's that. Any thoughts or welcome comments? Any of you experience through hikers, section hikers? Um, I'm really trying to get my gear down to fit in this bag because if I can't fit my gear in this bag I don't know how I could ever be ultra light but with that being said hang on a sec I'm just going to throw this stuff in this in this bag real quick just put this on here temporarily just so we can see how much this weighs now this is everything except water to see what it weighs all right let me see if i'm gonna focus here for this Looking at 
hopefully that's in frame 16.8 pounds as it is and that's uh had what two liters would be about four pounds so six about 20 pounds total so that's not bad yeah, that's not bad at all okay so that's the setup uh, thanks for watching subscribing uh, like I said any advice thoughts comments please leave them I welcome them criticize I appreciate it thank you very much and thank you to you people that uh, answered the donations for gear I hope you're all happy with the gear that you got uh, you guys got some awesome deals and that was uh, my idea you know I'd rather see somebody get a good deal and use the gear so uh, uh, yeah I appreciate it very much thank you guys okay um, so that being said have a good day and we'll see you later bye